the beginning. This show is about connections. We're all connected to one another, even when we don't realize it. Each of us has the power to make a profound impact on another person, which is why it's so important to always step up when we can, y'all. It makes a difference. Just need a little bit of time for somebody else. Think outside yourself. Um, and speaking of making a difference, what none of you know is that my first guest today was supposed to be actor and comedian Kevin Hart. And so, yeah, so as many of you know, Kevin was seriously injured in a car accident. He's okay and recovering, but because Kevin couldn't be here, one of his good friends stepped the heck up, and I love him. <laughs> anyway, he left his honeymoon to come here. This is real. Left his honeymoon, his wife probably hates me, um, <laughs> to come here and take Kevin's place. And this is very exciting for me, y'all. I apologize in advance if I can't talk for a few minutes. Well, that's a lie. I can talk all the time. That never happens. <laughs> But you know my first guest, and this is my first guest ever. Yeah. And you know him from his HBO show Ballers, from the Fast and the Furious movies, and from, y'all are freaking out! From one of my favorite films, Jumanji. Give it up for Dwayne Johnson, y'all! so much. Thank you. Thank you. And you? while I have you, I just okay. have to say, number one, woo, thank you. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on your first show. Thank and you. um, in honor of your first show, I wish you nothing but the best of success and good mana. And, in, and in Polynesian language, mana is spirit. And um, I bought you uh, for your first show, number one, because it's such a powerful number. Uh, one of your favorite flowers, this the sunflower. This is my favorite flower. This is my favorite. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. All right, have a That's seat. Um, All right. Here's the thing. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This is actually my favorite flower. I have one single sunflower tattooed, so this means really? a lot. So thank Much you. Much more than Kevin, there, yes. There. <laughs> no, I really, I like attacked him backstage. I was so thankful that you came. And he just got married. Oh, thank you. And I mean, obviously, I told you he just came from his honeymoon, so I love you. Um, but it was really funny because we thought, well, we'll get him a wedding gift. And so we got him this, like, nice frame, like, so they could put a picture or whatever in. And now I've promised I'm going to send him a picture every month for a year saying thank you. <laughs> and, uh, just random places. I was but, like, bring it on. Let's yeah, do it. I love you for this. It was really, really kind. So yeah. before we get to anything else, um, as I said before the break, you hadn't actually planned on being here. Mm -hmm. Your baby brother, Kevin Hart, was because yes. that's what you call him, your baby brother. <laughs> yeah. He was supposed to be here, but he was in a car accident weeks ago. So everything's good with him now, though, right? He's, everything he's is good. I spoke with Kevin. I actually refer to him as my son. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I connected with him today. And you know what? These things happen in life. And yeah. thankfully, he uh, right? was strapped in nicely to his car seat. So I think that <laughs> everything. Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. I love you. <laughs> oh, no. That's I, right. I, I'm just That's saying. real love. That's real love, love, guys. That's love. Uh, listen, I'm only kidding. Yeah. We spoke to the pediatrician, and he said, <laughs> uh, that, oh, oh, look, he's doing very well. He is oh, bummed he couldn't be here, as you know. But look, oh. I love the guy. He's one of my best friends. And uh, and honestly, I mean, thank God it could have been could have been a lot worse. So he's a lucky man, and yeah. I'm so happy he's, you know, yeah. And he's. And he knows it too, and, and uh, I wish him the best and speedy recovery, and yeah. um, I'm gonna see him soon. And you two have the best chemistry. We got, like, we got a good chemistry. I mean, going. I love every film you've done together. Like, thank I love y'all. And Jumanji, I'm gonna be real with you, okay, Dwayne? Oh, thank when you. I saw it, when I saw the preview that they were doing another Jumanji, I was like, that's not a good idea. <laughs> I was like, because, like, the original was so good. Yes. But yours was amazing. Like, thank I was. You. <laughs> we have seen it. Thank you so much. We have seen it so much. My family, my kids, we all, they love the part where the hippo eats Jack Black every time. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's weird. I don't know why my kids like that. That's weird. But all kids love that that's part, so by the weird. way. That's so weird. Yes, yeah. they love that part. It's a little Jeffrey Dahmer, but a... yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> but, a little. But you go with it. Yeah, I go with it. But y'all do really seem to connect, and it's amazing. And But also, we recently saw Hobson Shaw, and that was number uh, one for four weeks in the entire you. world. Thank you so much. 
much. Thank you very, very much. It's so great. Well, you know what? With with Hobbs and Shaw, thank you guys so much. You know, you, you make these movies and you put your best foot forward and you hope that people respond to them. And with Hobbs and Shaw, um, we wound up being, just this past weekend, uh, we wound up being the uh, number one movie in the world again for four weekends in a row. And we broke a record. Yes, it's so cool. It's insane. So the previous record was held by Avengers and Captain Marvel and uh, Spider-Man. You beat superheroes? Yes, we beat the superheroes, so it's crazy. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it. Very cool. I feel like I want you to be a superhero. I love superhero films and I love you, so I feel like everyone making superhero movies, somebody make him a superhero too, because I want, I want you to do it. But anyway, I'm sorry to take you away from Honeymoon, but it was no, a good totally Honeymoon. No, it's totally cool. Were you all having a it good time? It was the best, yes, it was. We had the best wedding. We got married. Um, in Kauai, uh, on a I cliff. Kauai. Kauai's beautiful, yeah. yes. Oh, right oh. there. And my lovely bride, Lauren, uh, we met probably about six weeks ago. And you know, I just, they don't want to get it, guys. Don't get it. You're like, oh, okay, okay, that's gonna last. It's gonna, you're gonna make it. <laughs> Great, um. no, we've been together over 10 years. But so, um, it, it was a beautiful, beautiful wedding. And um, I gotta tell you, you know, with something like this, as you know, as you guys can imagine, um, it's hard to keep something like that under wraps, but mm -hmm. it was so private and there was maybe 10 people with our babies, and it was just the best wedding. It's cool that you made it intimate, because your life is always in the public eye. Yeah, it's, it's like nice. really, it's noisy, as you mm -hmm. know. So with all that, we just figured we wanted to pivot and go the other way and not do yeah. anything that was I like love a, that. Yes, and. Here's my favorite part of this picture, is that you always look like the person that's in the frame, in the store. <laughs> like, like, like you're, you know those, Perfect people <laughs> when you're walking through Home Goods and you're like, what family looks like that? Your family looks like that. Well, I mean, look, yeah. that, that, by the way, is after 28 takes of me scrolling through my phone. No, oh, no, no, God. no, no, no. Oh, perfect, great. I know, but we usually, people don't have even the one, Dwayne, but it's fine, it's <laughs> fine. How do you balance it? Because it's hard, I get it. Like balancing a career, family, everything going on. How do you do that? Well, you know, fame is tricky. And fame can be a very tricky thing, as mm -hmm. you know, as you guys can imagine, and we've experienced. And it, it can be very intoxicating to people. And I also feel like with fame, I felt early that it was really important to keep perspective and to understand that really fame is like a microscope and it magnifies who you are as a human being and, mm -hmm. and what you have in your DNA and true in your colors. soul. Yeah. True colors, your true colors, sure. And um, I think what's helped me and certainly my family is just, um, just remembering where I've come from and keeping the hard times that I've went through in the past, keeping them at the forefront of my mind, help lead and guide me. That way, if we're fortunate enough to have any bit of success, whatever mm -hmm. it is, come our way, you take it with a grain of salt, you're super grateful that it happens. But, but it's you, not everything. It's not everything, no, not at all. And just like that, things can change. So be super grateful. I try and live in gratitude every day and yeah. laugh Yeah, I actually have off. a gratitude journal. I you started do? it, yes, because somebody wow. told me, yeah, because I try and live like that. My biggest fear in this industry, I've never said this in an interview or anywhere, but I don't know why I'm saying it now. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you're, me. You're, you should be a host. Yes. <laughs> um, no, my biggest fear is becoming those people you meet that are so unhappy in this industry. And I'm like, what went wrong? Wait, you used to be really lovely. I knew you way back when. And it's like, what went wrong? And that's the thing. I think you just lose sight of it and you chase and you chase and you chase. Totally. And you don't enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and I always think, like, I get asked this question often. I'm sure you do too. Like, oh, don't you miss, like, the um, anonymity of just being able to go to the mall or just being able to go out? And I say, because that just doesn't happen anymore for me. And I say, uh, this, this, looks, <laughs> you got this looks a lot different in real life, I, <laughs> I have put on bucket hats. I, have put I mean, on look things, at you. Yeah, like, no, yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, I also, you know, I remind myself, well, what's the alternative? The alternative could be I go back to how things were when I had seven bucks in my pocket and that yeah. was it, or getting evicted. Me and too. That, so yeah. I remember that. And I'm, I'm like, running from the repo man. I did it. <laughs> I did it. it. Yes. I parked my car at my friend's apartment. I was like, shoot, I don't know where yeah. it went. I don't know. Somebody <laughs> stole my car. Yes. But, well, today we have a bunch of working women. It's 95. We're celebrating that. So I, I want to know. I love so it. I want to know, like, if you had to pick one person, I'm sure there's many, but if you had to pick one person, the most influential woman in your life, what do you, who would you say that is? There's, this is a two-parter. So number one would be my mom, who's been such a... That's awesome. Yeah, sure. She's, 
she's been the quintessential rock of the family and gone through tough times. That's funny. And, yeah, she, she is. <laughs> yeah, I'm the pebble, she's the real rock. Uh, but so I would say her, but, and then certainly after being with Lauren, my wife now for over 10 years, and just when I watch her over the years and certainly with our babies and her doing everything that she possibly can to make sure that it's as normal as it could possibly be, our babies have good perspective, and handling the household, handling me, which can be a big pain in the butt, uh, mm. our life, um, the complexities that that brings. And I also, I was talking to her last night. So we moved in the past three years since our babies have been born um, over 25 times for my work in three years. Now, when I say we've moved, what? she's moved. Like the babies and the house and the dogs and the things like that. That's and just, love. And I look at her, I'm like, you are my superwoman. So it would have to be. Oh, my right. God. I would not like moving that much. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I guess I've traveled on the road for years, but at least it's one bus everywhere. Right. Like, yeah, it's like a home base, but oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. Well, I I think, I mean, I saw Moana, and I know you can sing, so I was wondering. Wait. <laughs> what? I was, Wait a second. I was wondering if you would care to You're honor very kind. these fabulous ladies. <laughs> like a short nine to five reprise. I was just, you're welcome. I was just, you know, I'm just saying, like. I, oh, I as mean, the mic's coming. Oh, okay, so sure, weird. let's do it. That's good. We can look right here. Here we go. <laughs>